We go to Hackensack High School for this 100 Warren Sussex semifinal. And number two Sparta takes a 3-0 lead here as Austin Unglob drains the trade for the Spartans. But the top-seeded Tigers make it a two-point game here. Watch Joe Ivan spot up and he knocks down the three. And Hackensack trails 5-3 early in this one. The Tigers will go on a run here. It's Jeremy DelVal. He comes off the screen and he drills the triple. And Hackensack will take a 13-6 lead over the Spartans. But watch Teddy Fisher of Sparta with a terrific move and the dish to Mitch Cohen for the finish. And Sparta's trails 13-8 at the one quarter of play here at a raucous Hackettstown High School. All right, second quarter we go and watch the great skip pass from Joe Ivan to James Britt, who buries the three-pointer for Hackettstown. And the Tigers go up by eight, 16-8 over the Spartans. But watch Teddy Fisher of Sparta get the circus shot, and it goes. And Sparta trails by four, 16-12. Then watch Dylan Mandel, who did a great job off the bench with the steal, and he pops the pull-up jumper, and Sparta's only down by one, 16-15. And Sparta takes the lead here. Watch Dylan Mandel again as he knocks down the wide-open three-pointer, and Sparta goes up 22-21. The Spartans then take a 24-21 lead at the half. Watch Teddy Fisher dump it into Mitch Cohen, and Sparta leads by three. All right, third quarter we go, and it's defensive whiz Matt Chemis with the steal, and he gets the lay-in, the rattle-in, and it's 26-21 Sparta. And then watch the little inside-outside game here. Watch Matt Chemis and Mitch Cohen work the ball back and forth, and then Chemis drains the three, and Sparta's up by five, 29-24. Then it's Mitch Cohen of Sparta with the block, then he runs the floor, and he's rewarded as he sticks the put back, and Sparta's up by seven, 38-31. The Spartans then take a 40-31 lead after three quarters by Austin Unglob with the steal and the lay-in, and Sparta's up by nine over the Tigers. Fourth quarter we go, and Hackensack gets a break here off the turnover. It's Logan Allen with the easy two that cuts Sparta's lead to five, 42-37. But Sparta tacks onto its lead here off the great entry pass from Matt Chemis. Watch Mitch Cohen power up, and he draws the foul, and Sparta goes up 45-37. And Sparta punches its ticket to the tourney finals for the second straight year. From the free throw line, watch Austin Unglob knock down a couple here as the Spartans top hack is down 49-39 as they will face arch rival Pope John Friday night at 7 p.m. at Hopakon High School in their third meeting of the season. It was a good game overall. Uh, Matt Chambers and I both with the picked up two fouls early, so players like Dylan Mandel, Teddy Fisher, and Anthony will really stepped up big. Uh, coming off the bench, they don't get much playing time uh, overall in the year. So coming in, Dylan with five points, Teddy with five big points, and they help us get the lead. In games like this, where all the kids on the other team are like below six one, around six feet, I mean it's tough for Kevin. He has to play guard. It's tough for him to stay with him. And, and for me, that game, I was the coach kept on telling me, control the paint, Mitch. Control the paint, which means I, I literally just stand, stand under the basket and contest shots. So I think that really helped him with with Teddy and Anthony, just to have them. They're they're, they're like little jumping beans, like going around, getting steals, and I, I think that's good. And, and they were able to stay with their guys and limit the three point shots. So it was a good play. I tell you what, the big part of the game for us was that. Uh, that second quarter where our subs came off the bench and kind of closed the gap. Um, you know, we, we have confidence in, in Teddy and Dylan and Anthony come off that bench and not miss a beat. And tonight, not only did they not miss a beat, but they kind of changed the game around. You know, Teddy hit the lane a couple times. Anthony, Dylan had that outstanding fast break layup. Uh, so it's a real nice, really nice job on their part. Um, we've been talking about it all year. We, we, we can't beat teams with three or four guys. We need eight, nine guys. And tonight we showed them. This is actually second year in a row. You're going to be going up against Pope John in the uh, HWS final. So uh, what are you going to do to prepare for this week? I mean, we got uh, Morris Knowles on Wednesday, um, our last regular season game um, at their place, and I think we should uh, be able to take care of business there. But Coach just said, we, everyone's been saying to us, oh, we hope North 100 wins, we hope North 100 wins. No, we don't. We want Pope John again. I think the only people that uh, believe that we can win again are the kids that were in that locker room. No one else thinks we can, and, and we really want to play them again, and we feel we're the only team in this area that can beat them again. So I think it's going to be a fun night, our last game against Pope John, so it'll be pretty good. It's big. Uh, we had a great game against Pope last time. Uh, we played them, so we're all, we're all excited to play them again. It's going to be a good atmosphere, so we're, we're just excited. We just can't take anything for granted. You know, every every shot we take in practice this week, we've, we've got to be focused every time we get the chance to practice our sets. we got to be focused. Um, we know what Pope John brings to the table. Uh, they know what we bring to the table. Uh, so, again, it's, it's going to be a night with a lot of energy and a lot of excitement, and hopefully we can, uh, we can, we can match it.